Hey guys, this is Matt. Episode 579. I wanted to share something pretty awesome. Yesterday, I was filling out these contracts. Well, it was about 7 o'clock at night, and Maddie was just sitting in her... Uh, she was actually sitting on our bed, just playing on her phone. And I thought, you know, what a perfect opportunity for me to teach Maddie how to fill out a contract. Uh, how to make an offer on her real estate. So, I... And I, I looked in my book bag, and in my book bag I had $20 from the other day when she wanted to buy an episode of Full House or buy the series on, on Apple TV. She wanted to buy the series of uh, Full House. So she gave me 20 bucks of her Christmas Christmas money, and I purchased it for her. Well, I just was sitting on that money in my book bag, and I thought, you know, this is a good lesson. I'm going to pay her for her time and teach her what it's what it, filling out an offer to buy a property is all about and how to do it so i went to her and i said maddie i got 20 bucks here i want you to go sit next to me and actively listen and participate for the next 20 minutes if you sit there for 20 minutes i'll give you this 20 bucks and she's like what are we going to do i said well i'm going to write up a contract to make an offer on a property and I want you to learn how to do it. So we went over there and she sat right next to me and it was really awesome. It was special. I, I wish I would have recorded it, but I, I went through and explained all the major sections about filling out a contract. You know, what does it mean for due diligence? What does it mean for if they have a septic versus a sewer? What does it mean to earnest money down? Uh, what does it mean? An appraisal and having something to be contingent upon appraisal. I, I used the example. I said, I said, Maddie, you got it. Cause she loves Sephora and she loves, uh, makeup products or not, not really makeup product, just more skincare. She doesn't really do a lot of makeup. It's just mainly skincare. And I said, I said, just imagine if somebody went upstairs and wanted to buy all of your Sephora and they're going to make an offer on all of your Sephora products. Well, how would they know what it's worth, you know? So they would, they would put a, they'd make you an offer. Well, they might put in there, Hey, this is, this is contingent. I said, do you know what contingent is? And as an 11 year old, she didn't know what contingent meant. I said, well, this is contingent upon me having the money and it's contingent upon an appraisal. So I want to get somebody else that knows more about makeup and skincare and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to take, I'm going to ask somebody else to come and look at it and they're going to go through more detail than I am. Maybe I ask mom to give it, you know, to go up and take value of how much you've got. Well, she's going to open up the bottles and see, okay, this one's only got half in it. This one's got a quarter on it. This one's, this one's empty. Or this one's full. Or they're all full. Whatever it is, that's an appraisal. So she's doing an appraisal of your Sephora to try to figure out what the value is. So what if, Maddie, I said, okay, you've got $2,000 worth of skip care products. Well, the appraisal mom goes up there and actually looks at all the bottles and says, nope, it's only worth 1000 not 2000 So I would go back to you and say, hey, I was going to get some money together, but I can't get any money together because I have a contract with you. I have an agreement and made an offer that it's worth 2000 And really, you know, you didn't tell me that it, half your bottles are empty and it's only worth 1000 and she really got it. She was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. She really understood it. So I, I love that, you know, being able to dumb it down and put it on her level. I mean, I don't want to say dumb it down. She's not dumb by any means, but put it on her level so that she got it. And I said, yeah, these houses, sometimes people don't tell the truth. So they'll lie about something, say that it's worth 
more than it is when you know we hire a contractor to go out and look at it and find problems and come back and say oh you got to be careful about this got to be careful about that and then we can renegotiate for a better price so we went through the entire contract and she was like wow this is this thing's boring i said well it's i said this is fun you know you you get to do this before you want to purchase a property uh and so that was really cool she got to uh she got to see all the different components of a contract and the offer and what all is involved so i thought that was pretty neat i'm going to title this something to the effect of you know teaching children about real estate offers and how to make an offer hope you have a great day and remember as baba always says make your contribution thanks